first semifinals match of this week's Alima League. Spawning here in the bottom right corner of the map, it's going to be the one, the few, the rare. It's the pink Protoss Patience. The top right, as the blue Zerg, it's TCM Sulky. Woo! Of course, once again, just quickly asking you guys, if you've got a few moments of your time, patreon.com slash moly, check it out. This is how the Alima League is run. This is why you don't see sponsored ads. This is why you don't see videos being played and you don't see a bunch of logos all over the screen because the Alima League is run by the community, for the community, through Holy Moly. So if you want to check out cool rewards and all these other cool things, check it out. The best part is, and this is my favorite part personally, it's very transparent where every single dollar goes. She accounts for the percentage cut that uh, Patreon itself takes. She accounts for paying off her time as a staff member running this for the prize pool. Every dollar gets accounted for. So you know that there's nothing shady going on with this. And I think that's a big part of why this has been so successful. I love transparency, by the way, just if that's not obvious. <laughs> sure. Sure you do. You have tons of secrets and a secret folder and a secret USB drive hidden Yo, I actually, in your so, backyard. I felt so stupid a little bit after people are like, well, why didn't you just put it in a USB and like hide it somewhere so you'd forget about it? I was like, <laughs> you know what? I probably should have done that. Like, <laughs> instead of just deleting it and trying to move on. Like, Put it in the freezer. Like, people put like their credit cards in a block of ice. What? Wouldn't yeah, that just ruin the credit card? I don't know. It's like it's like a joke, you know, like on like movies or whatever, where you just you put it in like you put it in water, you freeze it so that you'll you won't be tempted to use it. Funny joke. It sounds like an asshole prank. Well, it's not like if you kill kill a credit card because it has a soul after all. Uh, and it's like permanent. Like you can just ask for another one. All right, fair enough. Method meme just subbed to the channel. Ooh. We also of course had Stelios, Stelios Cantos. Thank you very much, both of you, for subscribing to the channel. New subs are always appreciated here on Base Straight TV. <laughs> Patience, by the way, does have this really cool skin from uh, Legacy of the Void Collector's Edition. That's why you're going to see Adepts and Colossus appear in the upgrade tab. It's a bug. Blizzard knows about it. They're working on it. We'll see it fixed in the near future. Meanwhile, third base from Sulky gets taken in a less, I'd say, obvious position. Oftentimes it's this third base that gets taken really quick. So interesting to see him expanding away from his opponent as far as he can. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. Chat's so distracting with stronger talk. I know, the, the delay never helps. Oh god. But I think it, I think he, <laughs> people agree with my being <laughs> Olivia, I guess. I disagree because if I can't read chat, then I don't have to read the answers. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, Patience did a lot of immortal all-ins when he was initially getting, you know, testing the waters like through the void, and he still throws it in every once in a while. But it's just it's two base all-ins. If they surprise Zerg, they still work, obviously. But uh, most of the time, they just seem to be easily handled with Roach Ravager. It's, it's not too hopeful for for Protoss. While he's getting an immortal, he doesn't actually have a lot of uh, gateways right now, so he might just be looking to expand with this. There's a hidden donger inside the hidden vagina. Okay, so we both win, but nobody wins. <laughs> if that's the case. Oh, that map is wonderful. For so many different reasons. Uh, while being up as it is, the sentries, the immortals, this looks weird because this is not something you see in Legacy of the Void, but hey, they're out. They're good for defense, and Sulky's not going to break this with just lings. But the bailing nest, <laughs> speaking of unconventional, is what, what might just tear this wall down. I mean, I noticed he was going nothing but links, but I just figured... That's, that's common. That's actually not so weird, right? Like, Yeah, fast lair, you know, double upgraded links. I mean, that's cool, but to go for a Baneling bus... Did Patience see the Baneling nest? No, the Observer's not been that direction, oh. so there's no idea. He saw how many links there were and was like, I'm definitely not taking a third if there's that many links in the field, not until I have more units. I don't think he knows it's a Baneling I mean, bus. Funny enough, if this was like a mortal sentry or or even just lots of adepts, oh, it's gonna be resonating glaives. If a lots of adepts come out, this is kind of okay, because the banelings will get used up on this wall. There's a lot of wall they're gonna have to go through. As long as uh, oh, drops, drops the main, we're dumb. Oh my God, we don't see this in the production tab because ah, that doesn't show up in the production tab. But massive amounts of drops driven off by that photon overcharge. We don't see banelings coming through just yet, but Patience now suddenly very scared of leaving his base anytime soon. I. I can't believe we didn't think of that. Well, to be fair, if it showed up in the friggin' production tab, it would have been very <laughs> obvious. Uh, um, but the, you know, 
even then I would have expected one or two overlord drops. This is to, not working. Like, you know, it's it's not working exactly. Like one or two overlord drops to kind of distract and then bust the front. I think would have been a lot better to put all of your lings in the main base, trying to go on top of the army. Might have worked in Heart of the Swarm, but with pylons very specifically having amazing burst damage, a tactic like that, I think wouldn't. Uh, well, obviously, didn't go over anything as well. If, if these were banelings dropping on top of the probes, this could have actually been a very devastating attack. Because all things considered, there wasn't a lot of anti-air. The actual choice of lings is probably the There's biggest some question. Banelings. Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, Bane Rain. This is why you dropped them. Sulky, get it done. Whoop, whoop. It's so weird. Sulky, not necessarily the uh, craziest of players, but obviously with one or two builds that are pretty, pretty cray cray. But they're going to go to the Immortals. It's like the most useless one to go on. They drop on the sentries. Oh, there we go. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. I still would have loved to see this go off with the pros and the adepts get taken out by this as well. However, there's not exactly a huge flood of links. I don't like that Patience is out here. I don't know why he's exposing himself like this. Give back to the safety of the pylons, my friend. Yeah, seriously. He's running out of units that can actually do, uh, do, do away with mass links. Now, Sulky still has decent production and is just trying to oh. flood as much as possible with links. <laughs> Pickup versus pickup over here on the inside. He sees these unloading. How much energy is on that mothership core? Not a lot. She, she can only overcharge about twice now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, could could have killed it. Could have run away. Either one. Well, but the banelings else. really have to get on top of those probes. Or drop, well, drop the, adepts. the adepts. But he's spreading. No, I go think for the probes. Go for the probes. Patience is here. He realizes he knows he's running for his life. Probes on the run. Overcharge. Where are there any more Banelings? No, they, they, that one Baneling is put on the Immortal. It could only gone left instead of right. Well, he actually retains a good probe count through this, and now the Immortal's on the other side. That big warp, and that's going to be it for Sulky. Special <laughs> so tactics. Weird. Shut down, and Patience takes map number one.